Whenever it was announced that there was going to be a new trailer today for ASBR and it was going to be like, you know, it's going to be something big, right? I was expecting it to be like Diego or something because we just got the Johnny video like not that long ago and like Diego, well, I really wants Diego in the game. So I was like, it's going to be a Diego video. No way it's like not going to be. And it wasn't. Turns out it's a bow trailer, right? Pretty much like reconfirming that he's in the game because even after like the first trailer, what we got like the pay the PlayStation trailer and then he was at the end, like at the splash screen. But for whatever reason, like neither Bandai Namco or JoJo Games recognize his existence until now for whatever weird reason. But I mean, it's cool that he's back. We kind of already knew it, like I said, since that PlayStation trailer. But I'm curious to see how they actually make him different because without rotate canceling. I don't like Bao in this game. I think Bao is kind of boring. He's kind of dry. With Rotate Canceling and SJRC, he's actually pretty sick. He doesn't struggle for damage or really like anything. He's pretty good. It's just that without it, he's he is not that good. So I really want to see what they um what they actually change. Hopefully they actually make him look cooler or maybe just give him more options because yeah, he's he's really boring and vanilla dude. I was I don't like how he plays in vanilla. Anyways, let me see. I wonder if, like, he actually got re-recorded voice lines. Because... It's weird. Oh my god. That... <laughs> his 214 looks... Slower. I don't know if I'm tripping out. Oh, that's definitely slower. Holy shit. Why did I make that so slow, dude? I feel like that move isn't even an overhead because I like yeah like they showed it like they slowed down Jonathan's um, sword too and that's an overhead so I was like all right they're gonna slow down all the overheads and shit nah they just randomly decided to slow down other moves too for some reason I don't know I think it's odd from this trailer though I can't really tell if he has any other crazy options because he had to use PC to be able to combo off of this move, which I think Bao always had to do. I'm not sure if the knockup is any different. It might be. But yeah, comboing after like M Slicer, he could always do that. But the question is though, does M... S I'm curious like if M Slicer doesn't go as far now. Because that was one of a uh, one of the things that made him strong in vanilla is that whenever Bao would get a knockdown in the corner or against the wall, you could do I think the input was like 214M and you'd hop over the opponent and it'd be like an actual cross-up. Your opponent would have to guess, and if they guess wrong, they get crumpled on hit, and you could run up and get like a full combo after. And if you know how to SJRC, that shit's gonna do a lot of damage. Without SJRC, it's not gonna do a lot of damage. But I mean, like, outside of that, I mean, just, it looks like Bao. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, like, it's cool that he actually made it in. It's just that, unfortunately, I didn't play, like, a ton of this character. Like, I, I watched this character. Like, if you want to watch somebody play this character and actually, like, have, get an idea of what he played like in vanilla, just go watch Black's most recent tournament and go watch any of Sev's matches on stream. I'm pretty sure he played bow like 90% of the time in that tournament he I think he might have switched a couple of times because doing SJRC on like parsec is pretty hard <laughs> actually I just noticed this this saber I think got changed because whenever he did DP and then he chucked the saber I think on hit I swear on hit you were able to tech and they wouldn't spin out like this they like um what's it called it wouldn't cause a knockdown and I mean it looks like it's causing a knockdown now which is pretty cool. It's really annoying though. If, I'm sure like if it does cause a hard knockdown, it's going to be insanely annoying since it is a DP. It's going to be like Rohan's DP where if you get hit by his DP, it's just going to be a hard knockdown and now it's like, oh god, more time wasted. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the last thing I wanted to mention. Why do they slow this move down? I hope it doesn't butcher his combos because I know in some combos, he would either do this, he would do this move either in the middle of the combo and then he would PC to follow up or he would do like M, M uh, I think the input is 214M the one where he hops over you he'd hop over you and you either PC that or against the wall you could like run up and get like a jab 
into this move and it would combo and then you'd be able to PC that as well for like a full combo. Hopefully this doesn't butcher that because I don't know what's with, uh, this is like the one thing that I've noticed that I'm not a big fan of in ASBR so far. Why they decided to slow down these moves? Like, I don't know, were some like QA testers complaining about how busted these moves are? Or did CyberConnect2 just, I don't know, because like somebody had to go in and program this. So I'm curious why they even decided to do that at all. Like this move was fine, it's not like it's fucking broken. Like, yeah, you can PC it and run up and maybe get a jab and it's a true block string. But, I don't know. I don't know why they decided to slow that and Jonathan's overhead down. Like, these moves weren't broken, if anything, you know? But, I don't know. When we try out the game in, uh, well, whenever we decide to get that demo. Hope Again, hopefully it's not at the end of June because I'm not gonna fucking, I'm not gonna be here. You know, like late June, early July. So I hope that we get to we either get to play the game like mid July just so we could see actually like to see if these moves actually suck or not. But I mean it's gonna be like net play dude and it's gonna be Cyber Connect 2 net play. People are gonna be getting cooked by that overhead like regardless bro like <laughs> But no, yeah, Bao looks Bao looks fine. Except for like that one thunder change, like he looks fine. Let me know if you're actually excited to play Bao. I'm pro I'm gonna give him another try. I'm gonna give him another try whenever R comes out. I kind of stopped playing this character because I felt like you kind of needed to learn how to SJRC in order to do good with this character, like in tournament, because around the time I got into this game, like the tournaments were still happening. So like, I just dropped this character. But let me know if you're gonna play him in ASBR and I appreciate all of you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.